So one of the biggest questions I get is from people wanting a more natural approach to weed control or they just don't want to put chemicals on their lawn. Maybe they have kids or pets that play back here and they just don't like putting Roundup or glyphosate to kill weeds or grass or anything like that. So today I'm going to show you a more natural way, things that you can find in your home already and that is going to help kill a lot of the weeds and grass that we see right here. So in order to make this concoction, the things you're gonna need is a sprayer. Kind of ironic, I'm using a Roundup branded sprayer. Whoops, you will need some distilled white vinegar. They were out of the big gallons, so I had to get a bunch of small ones. Get the big one. You will need ordinary table salt, just like this right here. And then you will need just a little squirt of Dawn dish soap. Almost forgot, for all of you safety conscious people, I gotta wear your PPE. I gotta get my gloves on here. That's better. It's vinegar, people. And salt. It's fine. But seriously, if you're spraying herbicides, weed killers, all that stuff, wear long pants, wear long sleeves, Wear your rubbers, always wear your rubbers. All right, last one. So that is one gallon of vinegar in here. So if you wanna make, make one gallon mix, use one gallon of vinegar. You can adjust these ratios based off if you want a half gallon, maybe you want two gallons because you have more area to spray. Base it off of this right here, just do the math and figure it out yourself. So one gallon of vinegar, one cup of table salt, and then last but not least, just a little squirt of Dawn dish soap. If you're doing the math, maybe like a half a tablespoon, something like that, not too much because it'll suds up and you don't want too many suds. So the reason we mix this together, the vinegar and the salt is gonna be our weed control concoction. The Dawn dish soap is going to be a surfactant. It's gonna help this, basically what we're spraying here, stick to the weeds and the grass blades better. It'll help it kill it better, kill it faster. It'll just be way more effective. So I'm spraying this in this mulch bed here because I've got weeds and grass in here. A lot of this is actually from overseeding. This overgrown grass right here is from overseeding and I just never took care of it. You can also use this in your sidewalk cracks, maybe you have a gravel driveway, um, really anywhere that you want to kill weeds. But remember that this will also kill your good grass. So if you have weeds in your lawn you want to spray, be mindful of that. If you spray it, it will kill your grass as well. Another thing to remember here is that on any herbicide label, it's going to give you temperature restrictions. So a herbicide may kill clover and it might not kill your Kentucky bluegrass or your fescue. However, it'll say do not spray over 85 degrees, for example. The reason for that is because your grass is already going to be stressed out, putting that weed killer on it, even though it's safe for it. If it's too hot, it may damage your good grass. So what that tells me, the heat accelerates weed controls and so it is a hot day here we are at like 94 it is going to be i think today is actually going to be the hottest day of the year according to the heat index it's like 110 today maybe um, and so what that does that is going to actually help this be more effective here so keep that in mind the heat when spraying and trying to kill grass or weeds it is actually your friend but if you don't want to kill your grass keep that in mind <laughs> That's what she said. All right, last quick tip here. Quick tip. Last quick tip here, take something. I would usually use a cardboard box, rip a side off of it. Um, but since this is all natural, I'm not too worried about it. I can just spray this off afterwards. Just got this plastic piece right here. I'm gonna use this to create a border um, from my grass and the weeds inside the bed so that this does not get on my lawn because it will kill it and I do not want that. So we got this all sprayed inside the bed. It is hot. This is pretty much full sun. And like I said, the heat and the sun are going to help make this work much faster and more effectively. Um, so we're gonna sit here. I'm gonna try to give you updates. I'm gonna give like maybe four hours, eight hours, 24 hours, 
and then maybe we'll check in in a few days to a week and see how it looks. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go up front and spray my sidewalk cracks and my driveway cracks um, because I have a lot of grass that is growing in there. So we'll check back in here in just a little bit. We're at the eight hour mark. It is storming, just started raining, but we're gonna check out how it's doing. You can already tell from here it's dead or mostly dead. Look at that. Most of this grass is toast. There's still a little bit living, but most of the weeds dying. Um, still nuts edge holding strong. And all this stuff right here looks like it is dying. So I would say pretty good job other than the nuts edge over there, but we'll check in at 24 hours. So 24 hours after an application, and there we go so as you can see it's mostly crispy and dead there's some green in here um, but honestly it's my fault it was way too long i should have hacked it down with the weed eater and then sprayed it so if i spray this again it'll be just fine so as you see it works so yeah give it a shot let me know in the comments have you tried this or are you going to try this um, thanks for watching we'll see you guys